Today we're going to do some micro intervals. What these do is they simulate the demands of racing. Uh, for athletes that haven't had a lot of opportunity to ride in a group or in a bunch or to do training races but want to prepare for an event that has that group dynamic, micro intervals are a great way to kind of jumpstart your system and create some of the demands that are required for those group settings. So a lot of times I will assign them as maybe a 10 minute or 15 minute bout of 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And the 15 seconds on portion of the interval is done at zone five or stage five, which we also call VO2. So it's significantly higher than your functional threshold power. And then the off portion is at tempo or sub threshold levels, zone three or stage three. So a little bit below your FTP. And you just follow this pattern of on off where you're on at zone five and off at zone three. And you just repeat that every 15 seconds continuously for the 10, 15, 20 minutes that you're prescribed. We'll do these on flat to rolling terrain. And when you're doing them on a consistent grade, you can generally stay in the same gear throughout. So when you're in the off portion, that sub threshold portion, you might be at a lower cadence, but you're applying a fair amount of force. And then when you accelerate for the on portion, you are going to stay in the same gear but create a little bit more cadence. You're gonna increase your power by increasing force and increasing cadence. It's really important to keep your intensity at the prescribed levels using your power meter and your head unit to make sure that you're not overshooting on the harder parts and subsequently undershooting on the easier parts or the lower intensity parts. So we're just teaching our bodies to buffer the toxins that are released through intense exercise, as well as accelerating the gear and decelerating the gear, much like you would in a group setting, in a, in a bunch uh, of where you're racing or on your weekend group rides.